The great failed romances of the 20th century You'll never believe what they went through The great failed romances of the 20th century Passed down through the ages and now to you Welcome to the Great Failed Romances of the 20th Century. I'm singer, songwriter, and historian, Teddy Gray. And I'm gay. So, Teddy, this is the gay one, right? What? This is the gay one! I mean, this is the episode about Greta Garbo and Mercedes de Acosta, so if that's what you mean by- That's right, baby! It's my episode this week. As a proud member of the LGBTQ plus community, I am happy to announce that this episode is the gay one! Well, actually, there are a few gay relationships on the uh, 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 You don't need to talk. It's my time now. Now sit back and relax as I tell you all about Greta Garbo and Mercedes de Acosta. Uh, who's Mercedes de Acosta again? She's a car, right? Do you want me to help you? Mm, yes, please. That's right. Star of the silver screen Greta Garbo and esteemed writer Mercedes de Acosta were in fact lovers for a period of time. Well, probably. It's complicated. While it can't technically be proven, there's a good amount of evidence that these two were in fact involved in an affair over a number of years. Sure, they were always referred to as very good friends, but historically that's been kind of a code for... You know. Greta Garbo was already a star in numerous silent films throughout the 1920s, and at the time was close to being a household name. At the time, the only romance that she was known for was a brief relationship with her co-star, John Gilbert, in 1926. But just as the film industry traded silence for sound, Greta soon found herself trading men for women. That's where Mercedes de Acosta comes in. A highly respected author, playwright, poet, and notorious lesbian, she befriended Greta Garbo in 1931, and they quickly became involved. Mercedes de Acosta, commonly described as the greatest starfucker ever, was an out and proud lesbian in an era where homosexuality was rarely acknowledged, let alone accepted. She was quoted as saying, I can get any woman from any man, and her track record backs this up. In addition to dating Greta Garbo, Mercedes was also involved with Marlene Dietrich, Ona Munson, and various other members of the Hollywood elite. Greta Garbo, however, is now believed to be bisexual. Due to Greta's star power at the time, as well her determination to keep her relationship a secret, she was the one who held all the cards, and was in charge of where the relationship progressed. With Mercedes being far more out than Greta, this inevitably led to an erratic and volatile union. While they would spend long periods of time together and were close for 30 years, they would also spend long stretches apart. Greta was reportedly put off by Mercedes' obsessive behavior and would at times ignore her letters and inquiries. Still, Greta never married, and over time the two would frequently vacation together, sunbathe in the nude, and even live together for a short period of time. They remained close friends until Mercedes' death in 1961, exchanging hundreds of letters back and forth, and staying at each other's side, even if it was through correspondence alone. Speaking of which, I have a little letter for you! Sam, this is just your headshot. Yeah, could you pass that along to any of your friends who are casting? I'm trying to network. Oh, in fact, let's put it on screen in case any agents are watching this. They got my good side, don't you think? Now, when people discuss Greta and Mercedes' relationship, it typically comes down to the hundreds of letters exchanged between them. Because few of them hint at romantic involvement, many still believe that there's no hard evidence to pin them as a lesbian couple. But, come on. That's the thing. Greta Garbo and Mercedes de Acosta are just a small microcosm of the hundreds of notable gay figures throughout history who were forced to keep their identities a secret, either for fear of their careers or their lives. So if it's rumored that two notable figures of the past were involved in a romantic union, chances are it didn't come from nowhere. Case in point, here are just a few examples of famous historical figures who all spent long periods of time living with a friend. Cary Grant. King Richard. Walt Whitman. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. William Shakespeare. Teddy Gray. King James. What? Isaac Newton, the inventor of gravity, was romantically involved with a man named Nicolas de Dullier for many years. In fact, once Nicolas broke up with Isaac, he fell into such a depression that many believe it led to him giving up on life entirely, and soon after he died in his sleep, perhaps of a broken heart. But go on, keep saying that he died a virgin. 
Sister Rosetta Tharp, one of the most revolutionary and ahead of her time blues and gospel musicians, also had a long affair with singer Marie Knight. Now, not only has their relationship been wiped from history, but so is her involvement in the creation of rock and roll. But go on, keep saying it was noted bathroom peeper Chuck Berry. All these stories could have had their own episode, but they point to a larger trend. Gay relationships throughout history have been carefully edited, covered up, and kept shrouded in mystery so as to appeal to the heteronormative societal trends of the time. It's only now that we can go back and put two and two together and realize that when people lived with a friend, it's often code for something else entirely. Again. It's only now that we can begin to give these couples their due and capitalize off of them for financial gain. Queer power! So, Teddy, tell us about this song that's going to make us all a little bit gayer. You know, the word gay can mean happy, too. Oh, then I definitely picked the wrong word. This song, which is entitled Unwritten Gay Romantic History, is a tribute not only to Greta Garbo and Mercedes Diacosta, but to all the gay couples throughout history who have never had their romantic stories properly represented. Until now! A celebration of queer culture and the great works of art that they've brought to our world, Unwritten Gay Romantic History is sure to bring a smile to everyone's face. Except if they hate gay people. You hear that, everyone? If you don't like this song, you're homophobic. Sit back and enjoy some unwritten gay romantic history. And like we always say here at the Great Failed Romances of the 20th Century, we love all our listeners, but we love the gay ones just a little bit more. Good night, everybody! It's been rumored that Greta and Mercedes were entangled in love throughout the thirties. And yes, there's no clear proof, but I'm betting it's the truth. These things tend to get written out of history. Just look and see.
So if some say that Greta and Mercedes were in love I say we believe them, sometimes rumors are enough The Great Veiled Romances of the 20th Century You'll never believe what they went through the great veiled romances of the 20th century Passed down through the ages and now to you